Hey guys, I'm hanging out with Sam at the Electric Bicycle Center in Fullerton. Hey. We're looking at another trike here, and this is really cool. You know, uh, trikes are such a unique, very useful, in this case, very utilitarian electric bike product. It makes a lot of sense to me because, you know, the seating position on trikes is a little bit more upright and relaxed, but that doesn't necessarily, it doesn't necessitate like pedaling and really getting after it. And if you've got a bunch of cargo in the back, it's awesome to have a motor to help you out. Whether it's pedal assist, in this case, we have a five magnet sensor, pretty basic, but it's a cadence sensor. So all I have to do is keep those pedals moving and the motor's gonna help you out. Or throttle on demand, that's very useful, especially if you come to a complete stop at a, at a sign or a traffic signal or something. It's one of the, <laughs> there he goes. That's it. Getting carried away, Sam, gosh, man. It's, it's awesome to see uh, you know, a product like this that also has built-in fenders like this, front and rear aluminum alloy, very sturdily attached at the rear as well. 20 inch wheel set brings the whole bike down a little bit easier to stand over. I think this is only like 11 inch standover height right here. So just easy to step over this thing. You don't have to swing your leg over. Uh, there's a lot to say about it. And I wanna comment on the drivetrain here. So you pedal, it turns that those cranks turn this chain here and the sprocket. In the rear, you have an internally geared Nexus Inter 3 internally geared hub, but you're only pedaling with this wheel. Now, that's okay. I mean, a lot of trikes are that way. The other one just free wheels. But one thing that I've noticed is there are other electric trikes that have a rear mounted motor or a mid drive, and then you're putting even more force on just one wheel. So in this case, having the motor up front, I think it balances out the trike and it gets a decent mechanical advantage because the wheel diameter is smaller, 20 inch wheel. So this is 350 watt internally geared hub motor, kind of generic, I didn't see any branding. And then a 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery pack, very average size, okay? But it is removable. You can slide this thing off easily. There's even a flip up lever on the saddle like that. So here, I'm gonna just do it. See the pin right there? There we go, it's unlocked. Slide it right up. And that's like seven and a half pounds right there. This is an 81 pound trike with the battery on. Most trikes weigh a little bit more. So being able to take that battery off to charge it inside is a good thing, especially because the trike is a little bit wider. I was doing some tests when we were inside. I'm gonna show that because getting this through your door at your house might require some finessing. So we're back in the shop and I just wanted to demonstrate, this is a 36 inch door. We are just, just right there, so close on that side and almost touching on that side. It does make it through, but you might wanna just double check your own doors, make sure that you can get the, the door completely open like that. These bumper bars are nice. Uh, I think just kind of protect everything and they keep the fenders really solid. Thankfully, they don't stick out much further than the axle nuts. So even if we didn't have those, even if the the bar was on the inside um, of that that width here, it would, it would still be a question mark. I try to test trikes this way and see how wide they are. And I do have all the measurements back at the site, all the specs and everything, just because it is, it is a consideration. Can you get this into a garage? Are you gonna park it on the side of your house? Thankfully, that removable battery makes it pretty easy too. And you can turn the bar almost 90 degrees here. So swiveling the bike around and maneuvering it isn't too bad. So, you know, this thing is pretty cool. I, and I mentioned the fenders earlier, but I wanna call out, we've got a plastic chain cover right there. We've got a comfortable saddle. It's got the rubber bumpers built in, riser bar, even an adjustable angle stem. So you can bring those bars back if you're someone who's petite. I believe this only comes in one frame size, but there is a black or a white color option. And I'm always like a big proponent of white because you can see it from the side. It's got a nice visible footprint that way. And then these lights, these integrated lights, will you turn those on, Sam? Yeah. You just press the power button, really simple display. And then actually, there you go, there's the power button. And then we hit lights, maybe hit it again. It's on. It is on, okay. Yeah, it was just such a bright day. There are two LEDs in the front and that light steers. As you steer the trike, it actually, right. it, it and then there's the rear one with uh, with a nice reflector. It's a little bit low, so sometimes when I'm riding and I have a helmet on, I put like a light on the back of the helmet or maybe a backpack or high visibility. Yeah, I, I guess it's just been, it's, it's interesting to go through this. There's, it's all like a thought experiment. Who's gonna use this? How are they gonna ride it? And Sam, you sell these. What have you noticed? Who are interested in oh, this it's product? The, it's the seniors, you know, you get to a certain age and you're gonna get your license suspended and then you're dependent on family members or public transportation. And mm. as seniors, they, they wanna have their independence and their freedom to go down to Trader Joe's and pick up their little snacks, you know? So sure. 
that's what this gives them. And uh, that's a big thing for someone that's like 85, 90, maybe 90. The oldest guy I ever sold one of these to was 98 years old. Wow. And he had two cars sitting in his garage. His wife had passed away and she was the driver and he hadn't driven in like 12, 15, I don't know how long it'd been. Wow. But he was 98 years old and this was how he got around town. And it gave him that, that freedom and that independence. That's what a trike does for, for the seniors. It's fantastic. Yep. Yeah, and one like this that does have all the baskets and everything built in right away because just getting a trike like this I you know you're a dealer you already have this assembled it's set up right uh, sometimes people buy stuff online and it's like oh yeah a little you know bit more. a trike uh, I don't recommend you buy online either the reason is is there are a lot of people that can't get the balance and the how do I ride it you know it's it's difficult for them and so if you could just go down and ride a tricycle and master that then go buy your electric trike online but a lot of people that I put on a trike at that age group they've lost a lot of their balance and a trike is a different animal than a bicycle as far yeah. as how to ride it and you're fighting on the front end constantly to keep it going in a straight line that's an interesting point uh, so the smaller wheel diameter it doesn't it doesn't span cracks as easily. It kind of falls into things because it's smaller, but it's really strong. And this one has 13 gauge spokes, so extra thick, extra sturdy. But it's also really quick and nimble, right? Like it can go back and forth more than the bigger ones. They kind of have that centripetal motion. So when you talk about stability and stuff, can you tell me what you mean? Is that the two yeah. wheel thing? Yeah. So on a trike, also, I'm going to go back to that in a second, but I want to continue with my thought process. Yeah. A trike is like a submarine, okay? You can't put your foot down when you're riding it. If oh. you put your foot down, the back end's gonna run you over. So uh, my grandma had a trike and she broke her hip riding her trike. Oh no. Because you put your foot down and your momentum's going forward and the first thing that's gonna happen is your rear wheel's gonna catch your foot or it's gonna get caught right here. So I tell people, you always keep your feet on the trike. Don't put your feet down on the ground. That's a good tip. And if you start to tip, your natural reaction is gonna to be to put a foot out. And then that's when bad things are gonna happen. It's interesting that a product that's designed, or I don't know if it's designed this way, it's supposed to be stable, right? It's stable, it's approachable. At slow speeds. But right? you have that risk so, of like, right. it doesn't handle like a regular so, bike. So yeah. a tricycle is probably gonna go like three to five miles an hour, no more than that. You put them on an electric trike and you're going 10, 12, 15 miles an hour. Yeah. You can't take a turn more than three miles an hour. You're gonna to start to go up on those two wheels. Yeah, and I've done that. Sometimes it's right. fun, like as a young person, you're like, oh, I got it on two wheels. It's very unnerving if you're not wanting it to happen though. <laughs> yeah. And I've had have people crash their trikes. Um, I've had a few people that were a handicap and one gentleman only had one use of one arm. I had a custom do the throttle for him. Yeah. And, one day, and he couldn't talk either. We had a hard time communicating with each other. We had to write everything down. And uh, he came in one time and he was, we were riding with each other and he'd smashed the front end and he, broke, he bent the front fork. And oh. we went to his house, we picked the bike up, we fixed the front end for him. And again, it was his primary transportation. He'd take it to go to church, yeah. he'd take it to go to the supermarket. He, he used it to go everywhere. It was his primary transportation. Huh. Yeah. Well, some of the, I guess what I've noticed on this is it has that simpler display and there are three levels of assist, low, medium, and high. So you, you probably want to start out on low or maybe even with it off. And you can shift gears because it's an internally geared hub. You can shift even when you're not riding, which is different than a lot of bikes. Usually you have to be turning those cranks. This one, you take it down to level one and then here on, on low, and then you could start out pedaling, but that throttle gives you full power on demand. You know, we started selling trikes 10, 15 years, 30 years ago, we installed our first trike kit for a customer. But on a trike, most people aren't even gonna pedal it, okay? okay? They're just gonna use the throttle. Interesting. Keep your feet on there. I mean, some people, very seldom I see people pedaling it's an electric really trike. It's not really set up super comfortable so, to pedal. So they just use the throttle and they're sitting on it, getting from point A to point B. Um, and, and that stability issues, what I do is I have people practice doing figure eights in the parking lot huh. because they'll go around the building two times and they're like, I got it. And then they go ripping down the sidewalk at 10 miles an hour and they catch a bus bench or a telephone pole Ouch. and bad things are going to happen. It is wider. What do you think about this design where the yeah, frame goes outside I'm, I'm, of the I'm, wheels? I'm, I'm not digging it. It's too wide. Uh, it won't go through a, a standard door. You have to tilt it on an angle to get through the door. Oh, that's how you do it. I was wondering. I, yeah. I just thought that you're out of luck. But no, that's, you just, can you tip it? 
it again yeah, and you'll show tip it like this and you can go through your door and you it's know? i mentioned it's 81 pounds but when you tip it like he's doing you don't picking up that much weight so it is doable so when we started selling trikes oh uh, i would say the trike that really started it all was the iZip tri cruiser i think it was yeah, yeah and back in the day that was one of our number one selling online sales that we do and we'd ship them all over the country and it was again to people that are on a fixed budget you know they only have so much money coming in on a monthly basis and for 899 dollars man that was a deal then the price went to about a thousand then when the price started going over 1500 people were starting going man i can't afford that so you know it's about the price point and the and you know getting it into the hands of the people that can use it the end user yeah and that was an important thing was that price point once the price went over a certain point they weren't selling nearly as well as they used to well this one is 1200 bucks by the way i'm not sure if i mentioned that earlier and some of the ways they are keeping it cheap is it's using mechanical brakes it's nice that the the right lever actually has this lock so you can you can keep the it's almost like a parking brake see? It so it won't, brake. won't roll away from you because yep. with a normal bike you lay it on its side and of course it's not going to roll but a trike is always ready it has uh, a mechanical rim brake up front. I think it's yinning. And then in the back, we've got, it seems like a, a very similar piece matches the Shimano Inter 3. We have an Inter M band brake. So you're only braking with the front and the left wheel, which could kind of turn you to the left a little bit. They're more basic. This is not disc brakes. It's, it's a little bit more basic. We got a quill stem here that can go up and down. I already mentioned that it has adjustable angle. We've got these, you know, flat rubber grips that are just, they're, they're basic. They, they're good enough for this kind of product, but, uh, you know, plastic pedals with rubber tread. They're not super big. They're not as grippy, but at least if you slip off, sometimes when I'm pedaling, I slip off like that and then I hit my shin. So if you're someone who's anemic or whatever, you won't have to worry as much about getting cut. Yeah, I, I think I want to point out a couple of things that are important to yeah, on a trike. Please. Speed is not important on a trike. An electric trike doesn't have to go fast. What it has to have is torque. Mm. You want to be able to come up to that driveway or that sidewalk, that, that lip where you got to go up, and you want to start from a dead stop and give it a little bit of throttle and have it be able to pull up that grade for you. Yeah. You don't want to have to be running at it at a, at a, at a speed to make that hill. You got to have that lowing grunt. Another thing that I thought was important is I'm seeing more, and it's great that it's got a very universal battery. Silverfish. So I would, that's what that's I, would I would call this bike like the um, universal Chinese trike. There's probably 20 other trikes very similar to this with just a different name on them. You know what I mean? Huh. But they're using this Silverfish battery that even if this company goes out of business, I'm not saying that they will, yeah. but you'll be able to get that battery from many sources online. You're not stuck with a proprietary battery that's unusable and un unable to be rebuilt. Yeah. Okay. So th and this one, so this is the Revolve Electric Vehicles something Eddie? What's the... It's called the Steady Eddie. Steady Eddie. Tony from uh, Revolve actually names all of his bikes. I think one's called the Rough Rider, his fat tire bike, and this is the Steady Eddie. And he's a great guy. Tony's an old school guy from New York. And he, I met him a few years ago and he came into the shop and we were talking and I don't carry a lot of product from him, but I always like to keep a trike on my showroom floor for the customers. I was going to ask you before I forget, there's a bell down here, which is kind of nice for signaling the lights, the bell, all that is cool. What does this have the lower end torque? <laughs> That you're and why do you carry it? Because we're talking about how there's room for improvement here. Is it the price point? It's price point, you know? And yeah. it's like, you go from this to like maybe uh, the Raleigh trike, which we re reviewed earlier. That's that. The and that's like a $2,500 price point. Yep. That might sit on my showroom floor for eight months before I sell it. These are gonna sell maybe once a month. Yeah. So the lo here in the local community. Okay. And, and then the low end torque, you know, this is only 350 watts, but it's in a smaller wheel. So you actually get decent leverage it's a front wheel, so if this is really loaded in the back, I've, sometimes the front wheels spin. What do you think, power-wise? Yeah, on trikes, I like, you know, front wheel drives fine. You don't want to have too much torque, though, because there's no weight over the front end. Yeah. And then it starts spinning out on you as you're trying to climb up a grip. Yeah. And that was what those early trike kits that we installed, they would definitely have the front wheel spinning out on you. Uh, I was huh. thinking of the old Palmer Industry trikes. When you go to pull in that velvet clutch or lever, the front wheel was a friction drive motor with a car battery in the basket in the back. And huh. it would literally like just start doing a burnout for the first like two feet. But th you made an interesting point there when you talked about the lead acid batteries. This is a newer generation, right? The lead, or lead acid's a lot heavier. It doesn't last as long. It develops a memory versus lithium ion. Yeah, but here, hold on. I'm gonna cut you off right there, Court, yeah. because getting the price point below the $1,000 price point is important. 
who cares if it's lithium or if it's lead acid on a tricycle? Well, yeah. It's ballast, it's heavy. It's true. It's gonna make it more stable. Put that heavy lead acid battery down low, it's gonna have less likelihood of it tipping over. Huh. I keep telling all the manufacturers, go back to a lead acid, inexpensive trike, and that's the future for trikes, I felt. Huh. Of course, this is newer technology, it's cooler, it's lighter. It, it lasts, lasts longer. longer. That's a big deal. Price point's very important, and that ballast, like on a sailboat, get it down low on that chassis, and it's going to help to keep you from tipping over. Okay. Well, I really I like the battery choice on this. It's something to praise. You know, we're looking at these pros and cons. Uh, a lithium-ion battery like this might last twice or even three times as long, especially if you forgot to charge it for a while, because sealed lead acid can develop a memory. And for someone who's, I, you know, it's all about use case. We've covered it. So coming down here to some of the other design choices. I am not a fan of the, uh, normally there's like a quick release or something right here. This one, it's got this big, you know, gray knob thing that you have to pull out and then you're supposed to use that to unscrew or tighten, but it's sort of stripping on this side. Like that bolt is supposed to stay between those two little wings on that washer and, and they don't. So I had to use a tool to tighten this down. And even now when I, maybe you were standing over it, the seat went down. Yeah, it definitely did. And this is like a little bit cheaper Chinese product. I've seen this on other bikes in the past as well. You know, and again, maybe it's not the end of the world. It's just trying to be real thorough here. I do like that the saddle flips up. I already mentioned the battery coming up and down. And this one slides on that track nicely and it's surrounded by the tubing. The weight is low and relatively center. That allows the basket to be pretty low. You'll notice there's a controller box here. Sometimes when the battery's way down here, if you have to lean over and plug it in, that's, that's low. Whereas this one, the charging port is relatively high up and you can charge it right on the bike. One complaint I have is that when you turn it on, the keys don't come out. So you've got this thing dangling around and it's it's a minor gripe I make sometimes on electric bikes. At least it's mostly out of the way of your feet. Okay, I got stuff. Okay. The first one we got had no throttle. I called up Tony, I'm like, hey man, where's the throttle on this thing? Oh, that's an aftermarket accessory. I said, Tony, I never want to get another trike from you unless it has the throttle. Yeah. Throttle doesn't come installed. So the throttle's sitting in the basket in the back and you've got to route it all the way down, open up your little box and plug it into your controller down wow. here. One other thing to keep in mind is if you're gonna order a trike online, you better have somebody that's pretty mechanical because these are not a 20 minute assembly job. And we charge $100 on top of the MSRP to assemble one of these bikes in our store. It takes us over an hour and a half to put one of these trikes together. And we've done it a few times. Huh. So keep those things in mind. Make sure you maybe have a, a bike shop and you've got an agreement that they can assemble it for you. Or you're a MacGyver kind of guy that yeah. has got no problem putting tools in your hands and figuring out how to assemble things and how to route a, a throttle. It's easy enough to do for us, we've done it a lot of times, but so it the might tools. be intimidating for someone that's never done it before. I agree. I, and I, you know, as we were looking around, there's so many things you can say about a bike like this that's so custom. I like that they've got this, it's kind of a, a cord gathering loop or yeah. something that goes through here. And then there's some semi internally routed. A few cables are still out and about hanging out. They, they but just need to be tucked in and zip tied up here with where this goes. That's, that's on our end. We should do that. Here's that five magnet it. sensor I was talking about. Very basic, very low end. It's not as high precision. Uh, be careful with this chain cover too. It's plastic. So if you step wrong and you step on that, it could get bent or broken, but at least it has it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Should we, should we take a ride? Or do you have any other thought? Oh, one more thing. So that's the motor power delivery system here, this cable and see how it's, oh no. See this, this little clip here. I don't want to lose that. That was a, it's like a cable retention clip. The point is if you're riding along and something, if you hit something here, it could bend this and then your motor gets, it basically becomes useless. So just be careful. It's a little bit more vulnerable. A lot of times that's at the rear. In this case, I'm really glad it's at the front because look how, how wide the rear is. Um, yeah, I'd, okay, Sam, any other last minute thoughts? Time for a test ride, Court. Are you gonna do it? No, I don't have my helmet on. Let's you do it. Okay, I'll, I'll hop on this thing. Oh, I'm gonna flip that saddle back down. We press the power button here. It lights up. We got four bars to indicate how full the battery is, low, medium, or high. And remember, that throttle's always, is it? I thought it was always hot. Why is it not working? It should be. Oh, maybe you're released your brake parking oh, brake. Oh, that's this has happened before where I'm like, what's going on? It's because the uh, brake levers have motor inhibitors. That's a really great safety feature so that you don't accidentally start the bike. Um, but yeah, good to remember that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off, release that. Now it's hot. 
So if you're getting on the bike and you're not as stable and you bump that, the, the bike could take off on you. And I just want to remind you to be careful uh, with that. I think- hey, Kurt, You've ridden a few of these trikes. Yeah. Give me your feedback and tell me what you think the torque of the motor feels like from a dead stop. Like hammer that throttle hammer open and see how it feels to you. Let's get an impression from Let's you. Let's do it. So I only weigh 135 pounds. Keep that in mind. Here we go. A lot of noise in that basket. Not bad. I'm not sure what the top speed on this trike is because there's no speedometer readout. You just got that basic LED console. Um, but it, it feels good enough. Now here, I'm gonna take it up to, to high. There's definitely a delay, but I think Sam was right when he said most people probably use the, the throttle. I would call this average. You know, it seemed yeah. it seemed it's, good enough, but it was a smooth road, trike. You know? It's available to the, the public, and if they're searching online, they're going to find probably the same trike with just a different name on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, do your homework before you make a purchase, for sure. Yeah, I, I noticed that the the baskets rattled a lot, but it seems like trikes are some of the loudest e bikes. Yeah, yeah, and you can you can. I mean, it's a it's almost like a utilitarian type of a a vehicle too. You can throw a big bungee net over this and carry a lot of, I've had guys go to Home Depot and bring back their yeah. projects, you know, in the back of their trike basket. That's a lot of space back there. Wow. And some trikes have smaller baskets than others. What's the top speed on this one, Sam? Too fast. Do they say 20 or? I, I can't go tell. At least 15 miles an hour, which in my opinion is faster than you want to go on a trike much. Let's hit the lights again. Oh, okay, and then on. Yeah, you can you can see the lights a little bit. They they actually look pretty good on the inside. Sam got his helmet. He's gonna ride along, and we found this really narrow gap. We're gonna see if we can do it. You want to go? Yeah, let's, let's. Nice and easy, Sam. Whoa, 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 easy. Oh, oh. Let's try that again. A little bit scratchy. No, it's fine. You're, right. I mean, that was the whole point. Was can it make it? And it it can. It's it it it's like easy so, to forget how wide this thing is. Yeah, I'm. I want to be as close as I can because I know if I go up that curb, that could be disastrous. Yeah. So I'm trying to stay centered without looking down as I'm riding there. And sometimes you do need to take that break and just look where you're at. You know, how am I going? And speed is the enemy. Slow mm. down. Nice so let's, and slow. let's practice some figure eights out here in the park. Yeah, let's go. We'll get the ramp over here too. Here's Sam cruising by. Nice and slow as he leans down the ramp. He's going to do those figure eights. He's really leaning in, he'll notice. There's the figure eight. And if I go any faster than this, I'm gonna lift the wheel. Huh. I'll try to speed up a little bit and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's the wheel coming up a little bit. And I'm going two, three miles an hour maybe. Why don't you do full speed this direction now? Got a nice smooth acceleration. And a brake check. Oh yeah. You Thank you so much, Sam. You got it. Okay. Well, you know, it's it, it was it, this was interesting. It's kind of fun to to dig in a little bit more. Uh, we had some real critiques, but I think a lot of those critiques apply to trikes in general. It's like ride safe, like the throttle, but be careful. This one just happens to be a little bit wider. I guess that's it for the full write up on this. I'll see you guys back at electricbikereview.com. All the measurements I talked about. I have the weight listed and everything. Uh, it's been a real pleasure and an honor, Sam. I appreciate your perspective and willingness to be you know, honest about some of this. Sure, absolutely. And all we're doing is we're giving feedback to the customer so they can make an educated uh, choice when making their purchase. Yeah, this could be a really great product for, for the right person.